Hi, I'm Derek McDonald, and I'm an artist of recycled metal sculptures. <laughs> Started in metal shop, found a love for welding, and uh, from there I started making little tiny uh, gifts for family and friends. Lately I've been having this urge to make bigger pieces, and uh, one thing that helped me was the Ritz-Carlton asked me for a piece in the corner of their lobby, so I made a full-size surfboard out of old recycled wine barrels, and it's kind of double recycled because these are leftover pieces from a project that I did uh, making a table. Mostly where I get my supplies are farms alongside of the road, just about anywhere I can find stuff of laying on the ground. Now lately in the last few years everybody knows that I'm looking for stuff so they actually uh, bring me stuff and I'll come home and there'll be a box of junk sitting on my doorstep. What I look for is texture. That's about the biggest thing. If it's got a different kind of shape, a unique shape, or uh, it has a real good texture, threads, plating, rough surface, if it's monotonous, I like that. I like the different kind of styles. I like shiny and I like rust. So I like mixing it up. I like giving it both, putting those together. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to weld that kind of thing, but it's, it comes out interesting if you can pull it off. Rust is my favorite of, by far, but it's really hard to weld. You have to clean it up just to weld it, and then you have to re-rust it to make it look good again. Designing a piece, uh, I use something that's already made, and that starts off the whole piece, or I'm making a piece, and that piece that I see or know in the back of my head that exists out there in my scrap pile, if I pull off of that, then I know that I can go over there, grab that piece, and that'll fit perfect. A lot of times, I'm going through buckets looking for that one piece. I'll spend an hour looking for that one piece that is just right, just to fit that one spot that I need in that piece. My family helps me a lot. They support me 100%. They are the best thing that could happen to me. I love them. They're second right after God and they're always, always doing things for me. My family organized the side of my shop for me. They came out and they took everything, they separated it and then organized it and it has helped worlds. What inspires me the most, I would say, is the fact that I love doing it and if I can do it and make a living out of it and support my family, that would be great.